Hey Virgo, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. How you guys doing? Virgo, let's get into your reading right away. What are the energies for Virgo playing out? If you're new, welcome. Please do hit like, share, and subscribe. And a personal reading link is below this video. Just click that link and you can get a reading with me same day if need be. Okay, Virgo, hope you guys are doing well. Let's see what the love energies, the love messages are for you guys. Virgo, sun, moon, rising, or Venus. All right, three of pentacles, the death card, the empress, nine of cups, ten of wands, the emperor and the empress. Very interesting. Five of wands, magician, the seven of pentacles hmm bottom of the deck <whistles> somebody in jail feeling restricted i feel like this can it just keeps coming up a lot <sighs> okay restrictions boundaries there's something going on here maybe it's you somebody might have been born in 1989 or 1998 there's an energy here of, um, or something happened in those years. I feel like, gosh, this is tough. Hold on a second. Somebody's having to put up boundaries. But putting boundaries up for the wrong reason. Somebody's putting boundaries up for the wrong reason. I don't know if that is making any sense to you. I mean, I can't imagine boundaries going up <laughs> for a wrong reason, but it feels like it's overprotecting the heart, overprotection due to mental fears and being very persistent. It feels like they're just telling me the punishment does not fit the crime. This could be, oh, it's like overkill. Boundaries being put up, but it's like overkill. It's way too much. There's a fear. There's some kind of fear playing out here. Is that you? There's a need for healing and change. And this is something to do with some kind of relationship or a marriage or a family situation, Virgo. I'm just hearing, try to, try to relax a little bit, Virgo like your mind i feel like it's for some of you there's this energy of putting up extra boundaries to prevent the nine of swords energy from coming out because you have the eight of swords to prevent the nine and the nine is extreme anxiety but it's overprotective trying to stave off some anxiety or something yet at the same time Something is a blessing here for you. Hmm. This thing that you're trying to protect yourself from, it feels like, um, and I don't know what this is, okay? And I'm not talking about those of you who are, have been in like extremely abusive relationships or d like situations that were very, very toxic. I'm not telling you to let your guard down in those situations. This could be any area of your life. I feel like you've got something really amazing happening here. Now, maybe that's not you. It could be another person. Somebody's like overprotecting themselves when, in fact, this is a, a beautiful thing. And this might be something that stems from childhood or someone is like really fearful to be hurt and almost negating and pushing away the opportunity for something lovely to happen here. That's really what I feel. There's a need here for truth and communication. There's a need here for rest and recovery. Somebody's struggling with something. Is it you? There's a big struggle happening here. Could be related to a family situation, uh, family members, or a relationship. Struggling with this twin flame connection for some of you. Like... Not sure if it's really a good, healthy thing or if it's very, very toxic. 
All right, let's take a look and see what the love messages are. Oh, <coughs> they just said, this thing is so damn beautiful, I'm afraid of it. Or this person is so perfect for me, I'm afraid of it. Or this relationship is so amazing that I need to push it away. It's too good to be true. That's what I feel. Either you're feeling that way about somebody or they're feeling that way about you and there's this pushing away energy because it's just like, pinch me, this can't be real. It's a dream. I can't open myself up to this. I might get hurt. Wow. So blocking, blocking, overkill, um, overprotecting the self and being extremely persistent with that. All right, hold on, let's see. Okay, religious factors. Calling in your soulmate. Finances and career. Always in that spot. Always, always in that spot. Okay. Oh, Virgo. Let's see what's going on here. Hmm. Some of you may be getting a job offer that you are just like surprised by this. This feels like luck. Some of you might have hit the lottery or you might be hitting the lottery or there's like this massive, amazing thing happening here in November. Massive, amazing thing. Like this is like pure luck. Like it almost feels like I can't believe my luck. It's too good to be true. I got to push it away. Okay. I don't know. They just keep giving me that energy. Some of you are, are, I just feel like some of you are getting uh, promoted into like the most amazing situation, position, job, or something like that. I'm really hesitant about it. Now this person, whomever you might be connecting with or who you're listening for this reading for, This person has a really hard time believing about you. You are just too amazing to them. Almost, yeah, it feels like the same energy. Too amazing. This person doesn't feel worthy of you or your love. You may come up with excuses like, oh, we have too many obstacles, religious, or religious differences and beliefs. We have obstacles geographical issues you know maybe we live at a distance or we live too close to one another in the same town um, could be uh, different ethnic groups it could be different like there's two sides of the track opposite sides of the track you know what I mean that kind of energy and I feel this person is looking at you like just cannot believe that Virgo would even have any interest in me. It's just, they just cannot believe it. That's what I feel like is going on. It, this could be somebody new coming into your life as well, but we'll have to see. Some of you might have met this person at work or at school. Um, some of you might have, or you might meet them at work or school. Some of you might meet them at like a funeral or something. I just heard this person feels like you deserve better than them. Really low on their self-esteem. All right, let me see this three of pentacles here. Huh, the sun. There's something to do here with a child. There may be an announcement of a pregnancy and this person's like, that's part of the blessing I was talking about. They might be doubting that it's theirs. This person may be asking you to not have this child, or they have, maybe something along those lines in the past. Um, but at the same time, I feel like, you know, even if it's not a child or it's just you coming into their life or you being in their life, I feel like they want to try to live up to the way they view you, right? You set a mighty high standard, Virgo, and you should. Okay. Don't ever let anybody tell you, oh, lower your standards a little bit so you can, you know, throw this person a bone and be with them. No. No. If, if somebody's not up to your standards, 
I mean, listen, if your standards are like off the chart way too high, that absolutely nobody can get up there, then you might need to just rethink it a little bit. But we're talking about you have yourself locked and dead bolted and chained inside and there's absolutely no one like you're some of you could be so guarded that not even the best locksmith in the world could get into your heart and that's a little bit of a problem too because you know love doesn't come in love can't get out either right so if that's your situation, there might be some things that you need to look at as well. But I feel like some of you, if you have pretty good set standards and a moral code or a religious belief or something that you live by that you feel very strongly, you should keep to that. And you shouldn't lower that for anybody, okay? I just feel like this person is doing their very best here to be try to stay positive, cheerful, like they definitely want to try to be with you um, to get rid of their anxieties or their insecurities. It's not for you to do that for them, but I feel like this person. So we have Leo, Aquarius, uh, Scorpio, Taurus, Aries, Libra, Gemini. Okay, so let's see the death card is here. Yeah, so hmm, this person's fixated on you. They so here's the thing. <laughs> this person feels like you're not equally matched. And you might feel like you are, but they don't feel like you you both are. And even though they're hesitant and they have a deep insecurity, they know that you are a blessing in their life. And I feel like they want to try to work hard to eat, to match up with you. Empress and Emperor energy. It's almost like you give them a reason to want to level up because of where you are in your life or how you conduct yourself or how you are in your life. Yeah, look, Nine of Pentacles. Sitting pretty, sitting handsome. You have your money in the bank, you look good, you're very confident, even if you right now don't feel like you are, they view you as you as being that way. And hmm, I just kind of get a sense that they feel very positive with you. And they want to try like they come to me as they like, I feel their energy is like, they're like an apprentice, and you're like the CEO. And they want to they want to get to where you are so they can be on the same level that you are. <laughs> Some of you might have told this person in the past, grow the F up. <laughs> if you want to be with me, you're going to have to come correct. You're going to have to grow up. And I feel like they took this seriously. <laughs> I feel like they took this seriously. Even though they may have put obstacles in the way, that was all bull. It was just excuses. You know, this person is, I feel like when they think of you, I mean, actually in, okay, that's what I just, oh my goodness. Sometimes I get the message, like it's delayed. Look, this person, okay, I'm just going to say this. Some of you have your standards and your preferences, what kind of person you want. Now I'm just going to throw this out there. This person felt like they were not doing enough. They were lazy. They were not taking care of their body. They were drinking too much, overindulging in things. And look at them. This feels like someone who stops sitting on the couch, eating junk food, and goes to the gym and starts pushing those weights so they can become in, like, in this emperor energy. It doesn't have to be, you know, just to kind of like level up physically, um, have this extreme growth. <laughs> That's crazy um that that came out like that i don't usually i've never seen something like that before and i just feel like going out there and doing physics some kind of physical labor it feels like a physical change like this person wants you to see them making these physical changes i don't i know some of you might be looking at someone from the past that you ended something with 
because of their behavior. And some of you might be noticing that they're making these changes and they're starting to look good. I don't know, Virgo, that you're like even paying attention to that because for some of you that feels very aesthetic and I don't think that's what you mean, but that's how they're taking it because they see you as being very beautiful. Um, Virgos usually have some type of like warmth in their eyes. They're very charismatic and attractive and they have the, the beauty or they're very handsome and, and they draw people to them. Some Virgos can be very sleek or some Virgos can be very tall, but eat, no matter how a Virgo comes in, there's always an energy of like mystery and charm. And this person, I think if you told them that they needed to get their shit together, I think they just took it as, oh, I gotta get in better shape or else Virgo won't be interested. But I think Virgo, some of you are like, okay, yeah, good, hygiene's great, yeah. You should be in good shape for your health. But I, that's not exactly what I meant. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's part of it, but you need to like grow up and stop acting like a child or an immature little shit stain. So this person is taking on mostly this energy of trying to look good for you. <laughs> oh, Virgo. Yeah, overcoming their laziness, their passiveness, that nine of cups, you know, they want to be that they want to be someone who is like a wish come true for you, the way you are for them. I feel like this person has maybe a little bit of an ego thing going on, or they just don't fully get the depth of what you meant. I kind of get a sense they feel like if they look better, they do their hair differently, if they dress differently, if they lose weight if they gain weight if they i don't know go out in the sun more like all aesthetic stuff and i get the sense that this like they might even be posting selfies trying to hoping you'll see how good they're looking and i just feel like some of you are like yeah and and you're still what are you still driving that garbage truck around town you're still making five bucks an hour so you what you look good doing it but like what are you doing with your life what books have you read late lately what kind of conversation can we have come on virgo <laughs> you know you kind of like where's your maturity level are you still out screwing a million different people are you still on drugs and alcohol like i feel like you meant you didn't mean just hey go brush your teeth clear up those zits and get your hair done i don't feel like you meant that but that's what they're seeing that's that's kind of like it feels like that's how they're coming across that's how they're making their change and their glow up and even though they may start looking better if the trust was broken that's not enough you need this person to grow up with integrity you know because the attraction once you've lost the attraction to the soul, it doesn't matter how good you look on the outside because you're a shit stain now, because you lie. Are you deceptive or the things that you do? So, the emperor of the emperor. This is what this person's doing. Ten of Wands. Are you kidding me? The emperor on the Ten of Wands and the Ten of Wands on the emperor. This is what they're doing. 100%. I know some of you are going to be, if you are on social media, I'm not, so I can't see anybody. But if you're going to, if you're on social media and you see this person or you catch a glimpse of them walking down the street or they run by your house or you bump into them, they're going to have this false pride, this false confidence. Because they weren't working on that inner stuff. They're going to have this false pride and confidence. And you may be attracted to them because they look better or they look healthier but i kind of say this all the time you know the outside of the pumpkin doesn't rot as fast as the inside if the inside is rotten it doesn't matter what the outside looks like if this person hasn't healed the core the inside you know like a wound a wound will heal on the outside first before the inside is finished healing 
and maybe they're working on it maybe they're starting with the aesthetic maybe that gives them and for some of you you know are for some people that does help because it kind of gives you a boost you start feeling better about yourself on the outside and then you start healing on the inside as well but i feel like this person is starting with the aesthetic they're starting on the outside you'll see a different hair color change uh different clothing all my material or aesthetic things is what I feel like this person has going on here. All to impress you, to draw you back in. Calling, all to call you in. Okay. The purpose of this, and if you see this, is to draw you back in. I don't feel like this person is going to be able to just come up to you and say, hey, I'm healing. Because there's no evidence. There's no, you can't really see that. You know what I mean? Maybe... Not if you're really not interacting with them. This is kind of how they're drawing you in. They want to show you that they're changing. It's not necessarily a bad thing. And don't get me wrong. I think it's good to be healthy and fit and take care of yourself. And if that's where they're starting, okay, that's where they're starting. But that should not, it shouldn't just end there. Right? So... The next stage with this person, I feel like, is um, they're working on their career. So this this is what it seems like is happening here. I mean, I feel like the healing energy is happening, but it's kind of, it's not starting from the inside and working its way out. It's starting on the outside and working its way in. So this person is getting themselves in a better aesthetic or physique, their shape, everything on the outside first. And then they're working on their career, building their finances, manifesting new stuff, maybe creative projects, um, competing in something. I don't know. Some of you might have. I know there's some Virgos who are like, get up off the freaking couch and go get a job and brush your teeth before you leave. <laughs> I know some of you are like trying to whip somebody into shape here. And some of you did mean that. Um, if that's the case, this is what this person is doing. They're getting a shower. They're remembering to put their deodorant on. You know, they're, they're changing their clothes when they get home before they sit down on the couch. Come on, Virgo. I know how you guys are. Don't sit on my couch. Don't bring those dirty shoes in here. Wipe your feet before you walk in. That kind of stuff. Man, Virgo, you like cracking the whip here. Did you crack the whip on this person? I feel like this person, number one, you are, <laughs> I guess you're whipping this person into shape somehow, some way, just by having your standards in a particular way. And I feel like this person really, maybe they got lazy, they overindulged, they were insecure. They put up these heavy, strong boundaries because there might have been defiance because you required something and they didn't think they could do it. I don't know, something happened. Something happened to this person. Their luck changed. Things changed for them. Competing in what? Hmm. Oh. They are getting a lot of attention. They're going to be getting a lot of attention and I don't feel like I feel like they're very indifferent to that because they want to be with you. They're doing all this for you, Virgo. <laughs> they're doing all this for you. I mean, are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. You're like the inspiration for this person. They're inspired by you. That's what the magician energy is here. They're focused. They want to turn these thoughts and these things and desires that you have for them into reality. Like I said, match you. Because they view you as being like the king of kings or the queen of queens. This person's like taking on the task. Laying their cards out on the table here. Doing the right thing. Wow. Justice energy. Having that win-win right and there's the four of wands here again getting their money together so they can marry you propose to you this person listen if if 
you know the saying, you know the phrase, that person needs to grow up, no more, no more dating grown boys, grown girls. This is it in action. That, that thing that you tell that person, come correct or don't come at all, they're coming correct. This is it. This is, here it is. Here it is. Unbelievable. I've never, I've never done a reading where I've actually, where I've seen this in action. I always hear people saying that to other people. But how rare is it to actually see someone to turn around and say, you're absolutely right. I need to get my shit together. And this is where I'm going to start. And I'm going to show you. Oh my goodness. That's why I say all the time, keep your standards where they are. Don't lower your standards. Don't dim your light. Because other people can't get their light to shine. Keep shining your light bright. It's not your problem if people don't have it in them to get where they need to be. So this person says, it was my fault, but I blamed you. And Virgo's like, yeah, no shit. I'm aware. I'm afraid to contact you. <laughs> they do have a bit of fear. They do have a bit of fear. And I think instead they're going to just try to show you rather than like reach out to you. They're going to try to draw you in by showing you the changes that they are making. They wish it could take back their words. They do want to tell you how they feel. Oh, you speak to me through music. That always comes up. I feel you even though we are apart. I wish I could share my good news with you. Yeah. See, they can't tell you. They can't go up to you and say, hey, look what I've done. What do you think of my this and my that? They want to show you. It's This is... This is show, no tell. You're going to see it. You're going to see signs of this, this person making these big changes. And as I always say, for some of you, it's like, I don't give a shit. It's too late. <laughs> for others, this could be somebody new you're meeting who's interested in you, but you are not feeling it for them. Or they're not your type, or they you don't find the attraction, or you're just whatever. And... They, but they're more interested in you than you are. And they're going to like start spraying themselves with cologne or perfume. They're going to start working on themselves to get to be in better shape. Like they really want to catch you. They really want to be with you, like meet you. They want you to like them. It could be on a dating app, you know, and, and you accident. I don't know. Somehow you talk to them or something. You see them and you're just like, eh. yeah, I mean, you're OK. But I'm not really interested. Now they just they go home with their evil plan and they're like, oh, how, I gotta join the gym. Oh, I gotta like change my diet. Oh, let me get my job. Let me get in a better position because I'm gonna try again. But I I screwed up. I gotta try again. I'm gonna come towards Virgo and I'm gonna just be everything that Virgo wants. <laughs> I mean, it's, it might be kind of impressive what you see here, right? But some of you, I still feel like this is somebody you were connected with in the past like you already might have been attracted to them and maybe you guys got lazy in the relationship or things ended or they got lazy and things ended and now they want to try and get you back and this is how they're going to do it maybe you'll see him at the gym <laughs> wait I got the wrong deck let me see here messages of love I know this is so like very spunky every day stuff here, but this is what I'm picking up. Twin flame. Oh my God. What did I say? This has been coming up a lot lately, you guys. And I know the whole twin flame. I get it. But I'm telling you, this has been coming up a lot. Your twin flame is never going to be abusive, first of all. So get it out of your head. If your person was a narcissist or was beating the crap out of you or was verbally abusing you, that will never, ever, ever be your twin flame. I know a lot of you listen and you're like, but, but I think they are. No, they're not. That's a karmic. If somebody's doing all that stuff to you, that's a karmic. Don't get that confused.
Leap of faith. Okay. Safe to make the move you're considering. So this person is going to take a leap of faith. They're either a new person coming in in the month of November that you deny or you say you're not interested in. They're going to show up with a brand new bag or it's someone from your past that, you know, you just were like, you're just not up to my standards, Virgo. <laughs> Sorry, you don't fit the bill. You're disqualified. This person's going to come in and try to qualify. Balance. One person giving too much in this relationship. Obstacles. Yep, they're going to overcome. They're going to leap. Look. What's that? What's that Olympics game? What's it called? Hurdles? Hurdling? Yeah, they're going to hurdle these obstacles. Like one of those hurdlers. Is that what they're called? Hurdlers? One of those athletes in the Olympics, you know? Or on the, the track at school. They're going to just, they're going to be running, trying to impress you. A little athleticism from this person even, or showing off, peacocking a little bit, trying to impress you. <laughs> okay, this relationship is moving toward a sacred union, marriage. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, healing. Old wounds and childhood issues need revisiting. Okay, yeah, that's what I was saying. So this is kind of a healing process. But this person is doing it from the outside in. You know, I, that's fine. You know, I always say all the time, when you're in a breakup or when things aren't going well, then you should focus on yourself. And they say, start going to the, start exercising, start eating better. We all do that because the way it works is that the healing, it's a pyramid. At the top, you've got spirit. You get your spiritual life on point first. And then under that, like everything that, when you get your spiritual life first, your, your, your blessings, your humility, you get one with the universe, with God. When you get that right, everything else trickles down and falls into place. If you don't have your spiritual life set, you're praying, you're meditating, you're believing in a power greater than yourself, and you're letting God lead the way, or whomever, higher power lead the way in your life, to bring those blessings to you and all you're doing is focusing on your money you're not going to be happy if all you're doing is focusing on your health you're not going to be happy like you have to go to the financial gym you have to go to the spiritual gym you have to go to the physical gym and you have to go to the mental gym or the emotional gym like you've got to work out all those areas it's not just the physical right so the healing here this person they're starting on the outside first. So I guess they're kind of going through the maze backwards. At least they're moving, right? I don't know that this person really understands so much the religious thing. They might not even be a believer in God. There might be religious differences between the two of you. Uh, they might not believe at all. Will they get to that? Maybe. I mean, the star card is here, and that is healing, the spiritual healing. And I feel like that's something that you bring to the relationship that maybe they're not aware of or they understand. So they're starting where they're starting. Okay, addiction. There could be addiction involved with this person. Accepting that. Okay, you are safe and divinely guided. So there's protection here. Okay. Hmm. This person might have, a, have an addiction that they're beginning to accept that, or accept that they're addicted to you, or, <laughs> or they just have like some kind of an addiction that they never really took a first step about or really saw in themselves. I feel like that is definitely playing out here with this person. Like I said, if they were indulging, can't pick up my cards. If they were indulging, in anything in their life, drinking too much, drugging too much, eating too much, whatever their indulgences were, whatever was going on with this person that kept them lazy and passive and unable to like get off the couch and take care of stuff, I feel like they're coming out of their comfort zone, overcoming that stuff now, facing their fears, getting up off that couch and actually moving. And I say couch symbolically. Some of you, you know, they might have actually been on a couch, but good for them there's definitely healing here 
they might have even uh, for some this person might even be either they are now or they they were taking a look at how their mental restrictions kept them hesitant from moving forward you know those thoughts playing the victim oh i can't do this making excuses I feel like this person's really taking a look. They're stepping outside of themselves and really taking a look at this. Now, are they going to be calling you, reaching out? I feel like mostly they're going to be showing you, trying to show you or trying to get you to see that they're on a good path. Now, let me see something. I'm just going to ask, is Virgo's person going to be reaching out to them? Like through some type of communication? Hmm. Eh, not really. I'll feel like it. They're going to give you, um, I almost said like a physical conversation. So like, I feel like what they mean is, yeah, they're going to show you they're going to communicate to you by their actions. Yeah, I don't feel like this person is really going to reach out and communicate. And honestly, if they do, some of you are, might not even get the message because you they might not have a way to communicate with you, but somehow they have a way to show you. That's really what I feel like is going on here. Isn't that crazy? Um, let's see what other messages. You are going to see some signs. Okay, the sun. A time of great joy and success. Um, I'm definitely seeing like an opportunity that's going to happen here. That like things are going to work out with you and somebody. Okay, that's Leo energy. I just heard, um, if you have a question that you're asking right now, they're saying that the answer is yes. There's renewal, that's for sure, um, and success. So I'm not sure what this, what the question is that you're asking, but I feel like it's a yes. You have the King of Cups here as well. So you could have been connecting with, this is the only court card here. We did have the King of Pentacles, so that was Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Could have been you or somebody else, but you also have Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Hidden but well-intentioned emotions, okay? This person, not sharing their emotions, they, they're keeping them hidden, but they have really good intentions for you and your connection. And I definitely feel like this person is going to come in with a very positive energy. They really want to show you something, and it's really, it feels like unlike them to be this way. Because they, they mostly hide all the time. All right, I want to get your Moon Pie Tarot messages here. Okay. Arguments and separation. Cupid's arrows and love messages. Okay. And travel. So you are, okay, you are going to get some communication, but there's going to be some kind of an argument first or some type of separation. That might have already happened. Um... But the main message I'm getting is that they just said a lot of you are going to notice this about this person and you're still not going to talk to them because you aren't going to chase anybody. <laughs> you don't chase people. So your thing here is, okay, yeah, I see you over there flexing, but you're going to have to come up and communicate and talk like a grown up with me. I am not going to chase you down and hang off your muscles or hang off of your, you know, beautiful, like whatever you got going on. I'm not chasing after you like all those others. You want to have a normal conversation with me and stop flexing and stop showing off and call me or communicate with me. This is going to piss this person off because they're trying to get you to notice them and you're not going to pay attention. You might see them, but you're like, yeah, and... I'm not reaching out to you. If you want to ask me on a date or you want to connect with me, you're going to have to treat me properly or do, do it the right way. Stop playing these games, see? Because this person is still kind of grown up, right? They're on the path. 
<laughs> but your standards are high and you require more than that. This is going to piss this person off. But I do feel like then they're going to reach out to you after that. So if you see them on social media flexing, you see them around town flexing or anywhere else, hold your ground. Don't be chasing after them. Don't be reaching out like, oh, I see you're looking good. Because that's going to make you just lower your standards in a bit, right? It's not that you don't want to tell them that they look good, but it, it just doesn't feel like it's the right thing for you to do right now when you see this from this person. You can tell it to yourself, hey, they look really good. Keep it moving until they reach out, okay? You will get communication from them, but I feel like it's after you don't, uh, you'll see them, they're gonna get mad that you don't reach out, that's gonna inspire them actually to reach out because you're not gonna just settle for this. Oh, okay, I see you flexing. So the, the, the ignoring them is probably gonna piss them off and make them reach out to you. That's what I'm trying to say. And I said it like 10 different ways. The heck, spying online, there you go. See, this person is, <laughs> listen, Virgo, listen, if you're on social media, do not click on that person's story. Do not go to their page. Somebody might be tracking you. Stop looking. Stop paying attention. Um, if you see them in the store, keep walking. Keep it moving. Get busy with your own self. If they want to come around and do tricks and dance around you like the Joker, and try to get you to like react no you deserve a proper coming up or reaching out or calling you and say hi how are you wondering if you would like to go on a date and asking you out properly and being direct not playing little tricks or dancing around trying to get you to notice them that's child's play you've been there you done that you're out so I feel like this person will be watching to see if you're watching them. They're looking right now to see if you're looking at them. They will be doing things in November to see if you're looking at them or if you're interested. They're trying to catch you. They're trying to, um, it's kind of like teaser bait, it's clickbait, that kind of thing. Don't respond to it. Positive vibes. Go out in the sun. Get some vitamin D, play with your kids, go to a playground, swim in the sea, do something fun, go skiing, enjoy your life. The energies are strong and powerful and all the world is your play place. Just love your life right now. Don't pay any attention to flexing. <laughs> Boom, lightning strikes once. This strike sends a ripple effect into your life. Things may seem to be in chaos or have been. It may be for the good. You know what I feel like is going on here is that this is going to be shocking to you, what you see in this person, what they come out with. Maybe they're going to lose like 80 pounds. Maybe all of a sudden you're going to see them like all beefed up, brand new clothes, brand new car, like a little bit of showmanship and peacocking. It might surprise you at first, but then you might just be like, I see what's going on here. They're flexing, trying to get my attention. This is how they think they're going to get my attention. And although that might be great and they look good and I'm very happy for them, that's not enough for me. They're going to have to come forward in a better way. So I feel like a lot of you are just going to be, when you see them like this, you will be surprised. You will be shocked. But don't just, Virgo, be careful. Don't fall into the... Don't forget what it is, what your needs are, and what you want to have met in your life. Keep to your standards. Family, celebrations, wedding, engagement party. Okay, some of you are going to meet somebody, like I said, at some kind of family celebration, a wedding, a party, maybe an engagement party, something. Okay, this could be somebody new who's peacocking around you. Pay it no mind. Pay it no mind. Direct, honest female. That's <laughs> Virgo, that's definitely you for the females or the divine feminines who are kind of like being honest with themselves and being truth, truthful and true to themselves. It's really important that you maintain that. 
I, I just feel like direct honest female or male. I really feel like that's you guys. I don't feel like that, you know, I just feel like that's you. Just being completely direct. You want direct communication with someone. You don't want indirect. You don't want beating around the bush. You don't want somebody trying to make you jealous or trying to get you to chase them. That's child's play. That's not mature relationships. So just ignore that shit. Hey, speed and travel. Again, there's travel here. Okay, there's some type of travel here. Maybe you're traveling in November, going home, holiday, that kind of thing. But this is definitely the Eight of Wands. Oh my gosh, is it ever. Eight of Wands energy. A lot of love communication coming in after. No, this is also like, whoa. So listen, <laughs> after you don't respond to this flexing thing, this person's then just going to start, the motor mouth is what I feel. Then they're going to start talking and talking and talking. I feel like they get really like, at first kind of like, they might even, they might even try to reach out to you or try to show you themselves in some way. And I feel like a lot of you are going to ignore that. And then they're going to kind of pull away. Like, maybe i don't feel like they're going to start an argument they might say like maybe have an argument in their head with you but i feel like they're going to pull away and then afterwards then they're going to come back and then flood you with all kinds of communication and messages to try to get your attention <laughs> yeah because they're full of fear and anxiety that you're not paying attention to them oh virgo who the hell are you dealing with what do you got, like a 16-year-old love partner? What the hell? Yep, so boring. You're boring. A lot of you are just going to turn around to this person and be like, shoo away, you're boring me with your flexing. Not interested. <laughs> it's just boring. It's like you've seen the tricks, Virgo. You've been to the circus. You have seen the puppet show. Here we go again for some of you. I feel like a lot of you are going to be like, yeah, okay, what else? Okay, and what else? Right, oh, well, I'm happy. I'm happy that you look good and I'm happy that you're taking care of yourself. And yeah, you bought a new house, you got a new car, you changed your hair color. Like, great, what else? Next, what else? <laughs> Virgo, you're really like raising the bar on this person. <laughs> oh my gosh you're raising the bar okay regret hmm. don't raise it too too high virgo don't raise it too too high that it's a standards that are impossible for anybody to meet not even you can meet them be careful of perfectionism virgo in yourself and in other people because then then you'll just be alone forever just you and your cat or your dog Watch out for your perfectionism. If you have such a high expectation of someone that it's like even the Pope couldn't meet that, or the greatest world leaders, then you might, like I said in the beginning, you got to kind of lower, just soften it a little bit, Virgo. Have your standards, but you know, don't make, don't create mountains that are impossible to climb because even the greatest hiker will become ex absolutely exhausted and give up not everybody gets to the very top and that's an extremely lonely place to be at the very top uh, if you're happy there virgo live there with no regret and maybe someday somebody will be able to hike that mountain of yours but you got to weigh it out you got to figure out Okay, you got to just find that sweet spot, right? Because you might regret not giving someone a chance who really is trying. You might regret that. I'm just keeping it true here and keeping it real for you. Future plans, choosing a path. Okay, I feel like that's what I was saying. You need to choose a path here, Virgo. Or, or uh, create a path for someone that will allow you 
and they to make plans for the future. If you're too unattainable or you're too out of reach, it's just not going to happen. Not everyone is meant to be an astronaut. Not everyone can get to your planet, Virgo. Mercury is pretty darn far away and not, it's not always habitable. Inha inhabitable? Or habitable? Whatever. Livable. So you have to figure out what you're going to do there, Virgo. That's just kind of how I feel. All right, let me see here. I want to get your Moonology cards. Okay. A time for healing. Very beautiful. Well, that is what I feel like this person is doing. So, you know, don't be too harsh with them, but don't give in to just the aesthetic. You want this person to level up to a good place, a healthy healing place where you're trying to get in your life and be in alignment with you then um, allow them to keep doing that. Don't, don't stop their healing by accepting them only at this very surface level. Okay. Bring love into the situation. Oh, that is so sweet. New moon and a moon in Aquarius. Okay. So for some of you, I feel like if this person trying to show you that they're trying to do their best you know you can say okay i see that you're giving me i see that you're trying to do your best and i appreciate it and i think you're doing a great job good for you maybe a little love and encouragement and then say keep going keep doing it i know you can do better i know you can do better keep encouraging them but don't give in and don't lower your standards Look at the bigger picture. Virgo, what is it that you want? Look at the big picture. Take, an, take a step back away from the moon. Take a step back a little bit and see what is it that you want. Do you want love? Do you want partnership? Or do you want to be so unattainable and so overly guarded that... Your heart just can never be opened again. Do you want to be single and alone, living in an attic with a light bulb and your cat on a rocking chair? Or do you want to just come down a little bit from the top of your mountain and try to find happiness in the progress and not the perfection? Mm-hmm acceptance accepting people where they are at the moment and being accepted for where you are at the moment are very important things in relationships even though you may not agree and even though we may not like each other at sometimes um, and even though nobody's perfect those imperfections are what make each other beautiful the authenticity the mistakes I feel like I'm coming down on you and I'm not Virgo. I think it's good that you keep your standards high and you not settle for less. But I also feel like if your standards are too high, you're going to have to just settle for yourself because no one was put on this planet to live up to your expectations and you weren't put here to live up to others' expectations. Only God. Emotions are running high. Okay, so there's going to be a lot of emotional upheavals happening in the month of November between you and this person. Luck is on your side. I do feel like luck is happening here. And I feel like this person is really trying. You know, like I said, for some of you, it could be a past person. For others, this is somebody new. They're really going to try to get your attention at either again or for the first time. Okay, and I feel or for the second time. And I feel like, um, or the third time, or the fourth time, they're going to keep trying. And I feel like, no, yeah, you're just going to have to like, I don't know, figure it out. Are they, are they really working hard to try to get your attention because they want to be with you? I mean, if somebody's trying that hard for that long, and they won't quit, and they won't give up, and you've already been to sleep with them, and they're still trying, then they're in love with you. That's it. Because most people, they give up trying if they're not, if you're not their person. 
Even if they told you they weren't in love with you, it's a lie. They lied. They just didn't want to admit it. Look at people, their actions and their patterns. Not what they say. Not just their actions either. Their patterns. All right, let's get some charms. Hi, you guys. How's everybody doing? Okay. We want charms. Oh, what is that? Pliers? We have a pliers. I just saw Barracuda. I just saw Barracuda. I just heard the song Barracuda. An old, very old song by heart. Barracuda. I don't know what the heck that means. Barracuda. That resonates for somebody, but we have pliers here. Oh, okay. Well, this is a tool. So, I just heard your pliers are on the fireplace mantle. Okay, I don't know who that's for. Maybe you were connected with someone that used a pliers, or maybe you're using one. Oh, some of you are going to find like a fossilized animal bone outside, or you found one recently, like a like a a fossil like a carcass bones from an animal. Maybe you found one. That's really morbid. Oh, okay, now we have another key. Key to my Irish heart. That's a four-leaf clover. There's luck here. I'm telling you, luck. You guys are getting lucky with something. There's luck coming your way. It's either like you're running, you're going to get like a huge fortune, a big payout, a good, a good amount of money coming your way. Maybe you'll find a four-leaf clover or a scratch-off ticket's going to pay out very big. And it's going to give you like, you'll be able to buy a new home. I just heard somebody's going to be able to buy a new home, gets a loan. You, somebody like, oh, okay, key to my heart. Also, um, receiving a key or returning a key. Angel wing, if you have found a feather recently, or you... Excuse me, if you saw a feather in a very random place, um, that's an angel message for you. If you've, if you've found a feather, I don't care really what kind of feather it is. It could have been like out of a jacket. It could have been out of a bird or a pigeon. Well, obviously a bird. It, was kind of, it came from somewhere, but it's just in a strange place or you just saw it automatically or randomly. That's a message that... There's somebody watching over you like an angel, an angel piece of a wing, okay? That's your message there. I don't know who that is. That could be someone that's passed on. If you had like a grandfather or a grandmother or someone that used tools or worked with tools or someone that you could have been an ex that passed away, like somebody looking out for you right now is how I feel, a relative. Uh, a friend, a sibling, something along those lines, whomever it is. Oh, that's weird. Hold on. We have a leaf here. Oh, no, they said it's not a leaf. They said it's a teardrop. It's a fancy teardrop. Hmm. They said, don't cry. Don't cry for me. I'm okay. Don't cry. I'm watching out for you. I don't know if this person was a painter. Somebody might have been a painter. Painted like flowers or leaves. Beautiful like calligraphy or some type of like Japanese art flowers. Or something along those lines. Or, or beautiful leaves. Decorative. Maybe even was a baker, made those decorative um, icing flowers or, or cake leaves or something, I just heard. We also have an owl. Hmm. 
Okay. All right. I don't know who this is, but they're saying um, something about Hooters. Hooters. That I don't think we have any of those out here, but it's some kind of a restaurant where women dress this particular way. <laughs> Hooters. Um, oh, and then they just gave me the the the, ter the name, the words. The, okay, it's peanut butter. Somebody said peanut butter. They said tell them peanut butter, and something to do with an owl. Is it with an owl? Peanut butter. Peanut butter on a pine cone. They said peanut butter on a pine cone with bird seed. That's it. Peanut butter on a pine cone with bird seed. Did you do that? Did you put that on there or something? I just see it hanging from like a string in a tree. Oh, and then they said, um, somebody just said, uh, somebody used to wear very thick bifocal type glasses. Um, maybe they don't wear them anymore or used to wear them. They don't wear them anymore. Hmm. And somebody was a teacher. I just heard a teacher. There was a key that opened all of the classroom doors. Like it was one key. Oh, a janitor in a school. And they just said, I don't know who I'm channeling here. And then I just saw um, like a form of like, I just saw two things. I saw a phoenix rising and then I saw a cobra, snake, a cobra. Okay, I'm shutting all these channeled people off now. I'm gonna end your reading here. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I know a couple of people were like, hey, you know, we really like those charms. So um, I don't know if I told you guys, I just have to. I have just not started because I've been so busy with like a million other things, but I'm trying to create these candles kind of similar to this and they'll have a hidden charm inside the candle. I spoke about this before. I should probably just stop talking about it and just get to doing it. I've already done one. It's just very time consuming. I don't know. I have to get like figure out a way. I think I might um, offer them for sale in the membership group when I start that, when that gets released. But there'll be like a special candle charm in it. And it'll be like a surprise, like you get in the cereal box, like a surprise toy. And then once that charm reveals itself, that will be your message in your candle. So <laughs> I got to get going on that. I don't know if I'm, I think I'm procrastinating because it's a big commitment and I don't ever like to commit to something unless I'm fully ready and I know that I'm going to stick with it. <laughs> you know, like I have to be a hundred percent sure. Otherwise I'll just procrastinate and just keep talking about how great it is <laughs> until I do it. So I'm sure at some point I'll get myself in that position to get those made because I know a lot of you guys want them and I heard a lot of people saying they wanted them, but I'll let you know. I'll let you know when I get started and start shipping them out. So, all right, you guys, again, I'm going to leave your reading there. Please do hit like, share, and subscribe on your way out. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks to all the mods for all your help tonight and to everybody else who is here. And the membership is going to start very soon. It will be $9.99 a month and there will be some cool perks which you will get if you become a member. So yeah, that's it for your messages. I will see you guys tomorrow. Take care. Bye.